you. How beautiful is this, isn't it? Forget the weather, a little warm, but we are together, and there are smiles, and there are faces, and there is humanity restored. Amen. We made it. We made it. We made it. We made it together. Let's give a big round of applause to the entire Tribeca team who really did a great job. Paula Weinstein, Nancy Lefkowitz. Jane Rosenthal is a force of nature. She is not kidding when she said that she would uh, plan uh, movies hanging off the Brooklyn Bridge and the Manhattan Bridge. She called me up and she said, what's the state's policy regarding movie screens hanging from the Brooklyn Bridge? I said, I have no idea what the state policy is. But she was determined that Tribeca was going on and she was going to find a way, and she did. Let's give her a big round of applause. We have Steve Cohen here, who's head of the Empire State Development Corporation, works with Tribeca. Melissa DeRosa, secretary to the governor, who works with Tribeca. Let's give them a round of applause. To all of you, the judges, the jurors, the masters of the craft, I have great respect for you. Uh, I also understand the integrity of the progress. In truth, I called Jane, and I said, Jane, you know, I would like to be a judge this year in Tribeca. Uh, and Jane said, uh, no. And I said, well, maybe I could just be a juror. I can be on a panel. She said, uh, no. I said, how about if I'm an honorary juror and I vote, but you don't have to count my vote. I'm just an honorary juror. She said, no. I said, why? She said, because you have no expertise whatsoever in the area. I thought, a little harsh, a uh, little frank, a little candid, but true. You are the expert. So give yourselves a round of applause for being part of this. I want you to appreciate where you are today. You are on Pier 76. You don't know what Pier 76 is because Pier 76 did not exist before today. As a matter of fact, later this afternoon, we're actually going to cut the ribbon on this new pier. This was the New York City tow pound. This was where you came when your car got towed. It was a metal shed. That's what it was. It was a metal shed. I know none of you got your car towed. That's OK. It was a metal shed where basically cars were parked. And it was that for 23 years. 23 years ago, the Hudson River was being redone. And we set up the Hudson River Park Trust. And 23 years ago, New York City signed an agreement that said they would make their best efforts to move the tow pound as soon as possible. 23 years. But as part of our lesson of COVID, seize the day, seize the moment, make things happen. After 23 years, the tow pound is gone. This is going to be a beautiful public space on the Hudson, looking into the river, one of the most beautiful views and pieces of real estate in New York City restored to the public. And we're going to do that today. And you're the first ones who are on the poor pier. So thank all the people that made that happen. I also want us to remember today that we celebrate Tribeca's 20th anniversary. And we celebrate 20 years of what has become an institution in this city and this state. An institution that reminds us that the arts are the energy and the rhythm of New York. The arts are what make New York, New York. It is the, the creative tension that is New York City. It brings people from all across the globe. And New Tribeca has institutionalized that every year in this film festival. That is a remarkable accomplishment, but I want you to remember where Tribeca was conceived and why it was conceived. 
After 20 years, it's hard to remember conception. But Tribeca was conceived post 9-11. That's why Tribeca was started. Because after 9-11, the entire city was depressed and distressed. New York was a target, an international target. And people believed it was damning for the future of New York. And it was damning for the future of downtown. Nobody wanted to go downtown because, God forbid, that's the memory. God forbid that might be a place of attack. And Tribeca said, we are more resilient than that. We have more strength than that. You're not going to put New York down. Yes, you can knock us down. But we're going to get back up, and we're going to get back up together. That's what formed Tribeca. It was that catalyst, that galvanizing of human spirit post 9-11. And then it went on for 20 years. The post-COVID moment is much like the post 9-11 moment when you think about it. COVID hit New York, and it hit New York hard. It knocked New York right on its tuchus, as we would say in Italian. And a lot of people pointed their finger at New York. A lot of people left New York. New York was isolated. And a lot of people said it was those people in New York, just almost as if it, we had something to do with the cause of the COVID infection. Ignorant, divisive, but that was the tone last year. And many people blamed New York for New York's own demise with the COVID infection rate. Now, ignorant, because as Scott Burns will tell you, we had nothing to do with the fact that COVID came here. China, China, China. Yeah, the virus may have started in China, but the virus went to Europe and nobody knew with all the great federal expertise and all the alphabet soup of agencies. Nobody knew. It went from China to Europe, and the flights were coming from Europe to New York, from Italy, from Spain, from France, and they were bringing COVID here for months before we knew it. And we had the highest COVID rate on the globe. On the globe. And the lights on Broadway went dark, and the music in the garden stopped, and the sounds of sirens became the sound of the city. And it was desperate. But you know what New Yorkers did? New Yorkers came together, and New Yorkers rose up, and New Yorkers said, we will make it work. We will get past ourselves and our fears, and from that desperation came a spirit of community that I haven't seen in my lifetime as a native New Yorker. And people were there one for the other. And that's what the mask is all about. I wear a mask for you, you wear a mask for me. I wear a mask because I care about you. And you wear a mask because you care about me. And we did it. New York went from the highest COVID infection rate on the globe to today, where New York State has the lowest positivity of any state in the United States of America. That's what we did. So my friends, never underestimate what the power and of unity and the power of community and the power of love can do. We've never really tried that proposition in this nation. Division is easier. Anger is easier. Hatred is easier. But love is more powerful. And that's what brought, brought New York through this storm, was love. Tribeca celebrates that spirit today. Just as the, they did bring everyone together post 9-11, they bring everyone together post-COVID. 
This is the reopening of New York. We are back. We have announced that we are going to hit 70% vaccination rate. We're going to hit it early. We're going to relax virtually all of the restrictions. Today, we are at 69.1%. So we're not a nine tenths of a percent away from liberation. And by the time Tribeca is over, we're going to be there. And it is fitting that as Tribeca led us through 9-11, Tribeca has beckoned us through COVID. I want to present two awards, one to Jane Rosenthal and one to Robert De Niro, because the greatest journey starts with a single step, and to get through what we got through requires a combination of determination, skill, ability, and leadership. Leadership somebody who stands up and somebody who believes and somebody says, I'm going to plot a different course. That is Robert De Niro. He represents the best of New York, the talent, the strength, the resilience, the backbone, the values, the principles, the outspokenness. That is Robert De Niro. He is New York tough. And Robert De Niro and Jane Rosenthal, are the dynamic doing an unbeatable team. Thank you, and God bless all of you. Jane, if you would come up and claim these very heavy state awards, or I will bring them to you. Whatever you want, Jane, as usual. Ladies and gentlemen, Robert De Niro and Jane Rosenthal. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. That's all I can say. Thank you. Thank you, Governor. Um, thank you to all of you. Um, this is really about uh, our entire team and everybody. Uh, it's also about the essential workers uh, and people who have kept this city running when all of us were at home. So we thank everyone, and um, we're going to have a great festival. Thank you.